Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 Multiplayer, featuring myself, Arthanex, as well as my two co-hosts, Lord Maldern. Hey there. And Torior. Hello. I'm going to unpause. So it's my turn to be in a Regency. The Regency roulette keeps on spinning, and uh, it came up with my name this time. I'm uh, at currently 12 years old, so three more years. Um, and I have the same dynasty as Norway for some reason. Uh, so not too much going on here, just a bunch of colonial stuff, fabricating claims, usual deal when you are in Regency. How about you guys? I know both of you are doing more interesting things. I am fighting Spain and Bohemia and Portugal and somebody else as well, probably. Three words, Sweden, go home. They are... I'm, just, they, I'm trying to mm -hmm. I'm trying to get them out of this war, basically. They were your ally before, right? Yes, uh, I I went into this this war because uh, uh, they were tied up with uh, Arthanex's war, and I didn't want them to actually come in on this war. So that was uh, let's just just leave, go. Oh, so I finished my war, and then they got called in. Yeah. Go. Well, Be gone. They, they didn't have an army at that point in time, so yeah, I can't imagine that it was too difficult for you. Yeah, I I, I just uh, pieced out with them, so. Hmm. Bohemia actually has a level three forts. I mean, one at least. Oh, just one. Level <coughs> three forts. Level 3 for to just one, but still it's problematic because it's taking an awfully long time to siege a level 3 fort. Oh. They probably leveled up their forts when I was picking on them. I can actually build level 4 forts. And if it didn't cost military power, I would be doing so all over the place. Hmm. Yeah, because you're so rich. I am like, ridiculously rich. Your tentacle in, in, in Spain looks really weird. Just reaching to the gold mine and nothing else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give me the gold. I want it. Um, all right. There's no excuse for me not to build up to my naval force limit at this point. Uh, there is for me. I don't have enough money. What is Bohemia's army actually? I don't know. They ha they occupy um, some of Poland. Maybe they're over there. Mm, no, manpower one thousand nine hundred. Total forces zero. Huh. Poland. They were running away from me, and they must must have encountered the Polish army, which wiped them. Generals certainly are not living very long. It's kind of annoying. <clears throat> my military tradition at these dies. Not that great. Hmm. What's your military tradition, Toria? Um, let me see. 36. Yeah. It's about because the same I have mine. been in a Regency for the last 15 years or something like that. Yeah, mine's 35. Can't get it up. Keep my wards are too one sided. It is a common problem, reportedly. That was... yeah. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it is when you think you're telling a joke, but nobody picks up on that. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I can found an Indian trade company. Where is... Uh, 200 ducats. Awesome. For an Indian trade company? Yeah. Yeah, founding an Indian trade company. Um, speaking of which, I need to add that to my trade company. So, hmm. Who else are we fighting? Hagrin Young doesn't westernize. Whatever that Pagrayat, I don't know. I can't it's say like it. Rob Lazara. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're from there, I apologize. Come <laughs> uh, on. What is this? 
wish I had colonies and make me feel like I had something to do while I was just waiting for provinces to siege. Yeah, they are good for that. Oh, I need a general. <clears throat> All right. 15 transport ships. About 50,000 people to transport. Here we go. I still don't have access to France because I conveniently left a wall of um, other countries between us so that we don't border each other and they don't want my territory, as they inevitably would. Yeah, I was kind of worried about that too, but so far it hasn't been a problem. And then comes a time when they rival you because they don't have enough rivals. If they do, I'll definitely use them against you, just be warned. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. <laughs> Tensions brewing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bavaria still hates me. I'm actually improving relations with Muscovy, hoping they would stop being my rival, because I don't want them as my enemy. How haven't they formed Russia yet? Oh, they don't have Novgorod, and Novgorod is required for Russia. Wow. The uh, hmm. the naval the naval situation is kind of ridiculous right now. Meaning? I have no. I'm basically the modern United States. I have no competition. I have forty one heavy ships. The next closest person has ten. I think I have one inherited from some vassal or something. I have. 138 light ships. The next closest person is you with 23. Me? Yeah. I didn't really pay much attention to my fleet lately. Oh. Yeah, I definitely should pay attention to that because I don't have any money. So, yeah, that's why. <coughs> okay. Go on, siege stuff. wonder, what can we take from Portugal? Did I remember to call them in as co-belligerent? Yes, I did. Good. The USA is losing to the natives. <laughs> <clears throat> this feels familiar for anybody who has watched my uh, Merciless Min campaigns. I currently got a lot of rebels. <laughs> oh, Schlesian Patriots. They probably want to defeat and defect to Silesia, yeah? Who else? Somehow my aggressive expansion with Spain is only 44. Hmm. Maybe they don't care about the Netherlands and the HRE that much. My expansion, aggressive expansion with France is down to 39. Really? Mine is um, 52. It does dissipate quickly if you have dip Diplo ideas. I do not have Diplo ideas, but it still is dissipating fairly quickly. You know, oh, that's right. That's why I'm not hiring different advisors. Because... Because? Because I have a missionary strength guy and a disciplined guy. And even though they're both power one, I really like both of those. Missionary but, strengths? But you do have done, humanism. I'm done, with, I'm done with missionaries, so I can get, let's see, how about a yearly prestige guy? Hmm. Uh, do you care about missionary stuff when you have uh, uh, humanist ideas? Uh... Yeah, because if you let your religious unity dip below, the more basically the more reformed provinces you have, mm -hmm. the more fervor points you get. I know, but uh, well, so but, uh, I, humanism also gives you plus twenty five percent to uh, unity, right? Right, but uh, it's worth converting them, All in right. my opinion. My missionary strength sucks so much so that and that I'm not even trying. Um, <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> I'd like to get uh, some provinces from Spain, but I don't really, I really don't know what I should take since you cut me off from them. I wonder, maybe I should release Galicia or something like that. Oh, Portugal has a level 4 fort in Braganza, or however you pronounce that. And is that in Europe or in... Europe, Europe. Oh, I see it. Well... <clears throat> okay. I can't get any level one advisors. Oh, no, I can. Let's take a morale of armies guy. Regency ends on 11th of January, 1619. About a little more than a year. You don't have any truces that end on that date. That's when my regency ends. Oh, regency, of course. For some reason, I did not think about that. Hmm. Maybe because since I'm not in regency anymore, all I think about is war. <laughs> <laughs> My king has been a spoiled brat. He's grown up, taken control of the country, and yeah, attack everybody. If we keep beating up on Spain, we're going to get an independent Mexico pretty soon. Because mm. they are really big. Uh, did, it doesn't bother me at all. No, I just right. think it's interesting. We have so many independent American colonial nations in this game. Um... All of them because of the med meddling Europeans. And then there's Trier. Trier, uh, The one remaining elector in the Holy Roman Empire. Allied with Austria. Who is um, irrelevant at this point. Right, what if you return? Do I get aggressive expansion in, rec in a reconquest war? For my vassal, let's see. You guys replenish faster. I mean, what am I paying you for? Ooh, ooh. so hmm. Moscovy's king is thirty-three, and if he dies, a noble from House von Hohenzollern, Hohenzollern. Succeeds, to the th succeeds to the throne. That's uh, Prussia's or yours? That's Prussia's. Yeah. Yep. Quite interesting. Okay, what if I asked you to return core 22 and cede the province? 16. So I actually have to cede provinces and not return cores. No. Okay, I have a dilemma. If I return cores, it costs much more war score and some diplo. But if I take provinces, mm, I do get aggressive expansion. So there is no good answer for that, probably. Uh, yeah, I mean, you gotta get, you gotta pay somehow. Yeah, I mean, I can take more if I just con conquer them, but then the aggressive expansion. Yeah. Exactly, you gotta pay somehow. Oh, I think I'll just go for conquest. You're just gonna take some Spanish provinces directly? Mm, give them to my vassal, because they have cores on that. Oh, right, right. Okay, what if I wanted to take them directly? Aggressive expansion with France 23. Yeah, that's nothing. Yeah, let's just take them. Siege of Seuss is over. Portugal is sieging me in Africa. I would like to get something from Portugal, but they do have massive holdings outside of Europe, and I don't really have a way to get there because of their massive fleet. Their fleet's not so massive anymore. I sank no. most of it. Let me check. Mm. Navies. Yeah, they are way down the list now. 
Portugal. 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 They have two heavies, 15 lights, and 11 transports. Oh, so I can easily do that. Oh, what about Spain? I forgot about Spain. Spain, 17 total. I can, act, I can totally do it. Yeah. Yeah, I sank pretty much all the Portuguese fleet in the last war. It cost me a bunch of light ships. Well, let's but... conquer the new world, then. I mean, occupy. I mean, get war score from... Ah, whatever. I did vassalize Moldavia, actually, but I started doing that before they lost two provinces to Kiev, so now they're just one province minor. Really appreciate you converting Pomerania to Reformed, by the way. That was an awesome thing to do. Well, I was just trying to spread the good news of the Reformed religion, you know? Yeah, yeah. I know you had your reasons. Oh, I some, actually have some free diplomats. Why are you not doing anything, guys? Hmm. Well, Muscovy, what do I have to do to make you unrival me? I do, do. <clears throat> Never mind. Who else is there that's relevant? Sweden, basically. Ottomans, maybe. Oh, Brittany hates me no longer. Hmm. Somebody should declare war on Athens and make them release Cologne or return all the course to England or something. Yeah, somebody should do that. Hmm. I wonder who could that be? France, maybe. <laughs> I think on France. Only... France loves me. Yeah, I think they are the only ones that could pull that uh, pull this off actually at the moment. They trust me implicitly. They're friendly, and they were plus 120 specs, despite the efforts, the ongoing efforts of the nefarious Prussian diplomats to soil my reputation. They are having none of it. <laughs> They're just not buying it. You're They're the good guy, and they know they know what they know. Exactly. All my plans are for the benefit of mankind, as I keep telling them. Let's sing some Portuguese. <clears throat> oh, you're running now. Just wait. Portugal keeps running from me. This means their fleet is not that strong, really. Oh, I know I don't have a leader. Maybe that will change things. No, they don't have any galleys, and it's the Mediterranean. Hmm. I wonder, what's it, what is it better to siege? Mm, the African provinces or the New World? Probably the New World. Come on, guys. What's happening in your countries? Um, uh, I'm on my regency is about to end, so I'm about to declare war on England again. Once more, I'm just finishing up this, uh, clearing out these rebellions here. It's uh, not that interesting, really. But uh, you know, once once that's all done, taken care of, I'll probably start building buildings, which I'm sure would be even less interesting to watch. But uh, you know. Are you in Regency as well? I'm not in Regency, but I have, uh, let's see here, I have truces with pretty much, I don't, actually, no, no, I don't have truces with everyone. All right, well. Let's see here. Okay, how many transports do we have? 30. Can we get you to the new world on 30 transports? Probably. Okay, uh, that's 8 and 9, that's 17. So we can take 13 infantry. Get on the boats. Okay. New world invasion commencing. 
that will take a few episodes probably because the <laughs> new world is very very big it is that's why I like colonial nations they can kind of uh, manage it for run you. around and conquer everything for me <laughs> you don't have to pay attention to them I do not have this luxury of having colonial nations unfortunately Franz do you like me yes you do good Brittany, would you like to be my ally? No, you wouldn't. Oh. Well, I thought for a, for a moment that Brittany is somehow allied with Denmark, your vassal, but that's Savoy. <coughs> Fortunately, if I have to try to vassalize England, it's going to take me 12 years build up my legitimacy, unless I get an event to build up my legitimacy back up so I uh, can actually form Great Britain. Hmm. That's what's going to happen. Mm, 44 aggressive expansion. Well, you do what you, you gotta do what you gotta do. Where is my navy? Oh, I destroyed one Portuguese navy, but then they have a similar one over here. For some reason. Oh, they have provinces all over the place. This is going to be problematic. Hmm. Well, maybe I could actually take some other stuff from Spain. Come on, guys. Uh, uh, I'm just... England is now at 101% total cost of provinces. I, I might have a p looming problem here, hopefully. Meaning? I can... Uh, well, you know, because Staten is... Uh, is a... Uh, reformed. My... Uh, Religious unity is not a hundred percent, so it's at ninety six percent, and so I have a uh, as a looming disaster internal conflicts. Oh, hmm. there is also always more than one way to stop such a thing. I think. Mm, let's see here. What was the other? Okay, so currently can be stopped if unrest. Oh, yeah, unrest is lower than zero. Yeah, which is probably it's going to take a while for that to. Uh, yeah, go home. Stop sabotaging my reputation. There we go. Maybe I should figure out a way to get some more spy defense. Um, the timer just went off. You guys in a good spot? Um, yeah, I definitely. think so. Sure. Uh, yeah, this was Torio, right? No. I think it was me, right? Oh, maybe. Okay. Uh, maybe. well, uh, th thank you for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to click on the like button as it does help out the channel. And of course, please subscribe for future updates. And as always, I'll see you next time. Yeah. And Take I, care. I Bye. Think it, I think it was me after all, but never mind. See ya. <laughs> Whatever. Okay.